Welcome back to this series of Dark Reading Fast Chats. Terry Sweeney here with Dark Reading. And joining us now is Yaki Feidelson, CEO, President, Co-Founder, and Chairman of Veronis. Yaki, thanks for joining us on this Fast Chat today. Thanks for having me today. Um, let's start uh, with just talking about with so much security spending, um, why is it that we're still seeing these catastrophic breaches like like the one we saw recently with the uh, classified documents that were leaked by that National Guard airman recently. The reality, Terry, is that if you're going to dissect every every data breach, almost always they, they can come from anywhere and any device, but always going in one direction, and this is the data direction. Bad actors want data, and this is where you have lasting damage. And what's going on today with organizations that they spend tremendous amount of uh, money on a lot of uh, security and many security tools. And also they need to uh, hire a much more sophisticated people in order to maintain this, this stack. And there is just a lot of noise, but a lot of it is geared towards the perimeter and the network. And the main goal of every CISO is to protect the data, and the data is neglected. So sure. most of the data that every employee in any organization can uh, access is not relevant for him, and you have this tremendous blast radius. So you can maintain, you know, on the perimeter, you can do 99% good job, and then you have one rogue insider or an APT that is really compromising the user of a machine, and you have massive amount, amount of damage. And this is what you see again and again. Well, it's like spam, right? You just need you just need one to get through, and that's 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 all a spammer needs. Um, nonetheless, the the insider threat issue has 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 plagued companies and organizations for for decades now. Fr from your perspective, what what do you see as the key to stopping insider threats? You know, if you can do three things well, usually you will be protected. And if you will have damage, it will be very small. Making sure that you know where your critical digital assets, making sure that only the right people can access the right data at all times, and re reliably identifying, alerting, and stopping abnormal behavior. If you can do that, most of the time, you will be protected. Given all this, uh, that so much of our critical data lives in the cloud, whether it's Microsoft 365, Salesforce, Google, Amazon. Um, does cloud-based data make it harder <laughs> or easier to protect? It's, it's, a, it's a very good question. Most of the time, much harder because the SaaS applications, 365, Salesforce, and others, GitHub, they are geared towards collaboration. They are tremendous productivity tools with a lot of collaborations capabilities but the byproduct that it's create tremendous tension between security and productivity because end users are exposing, exposing massive amount of data. If you take terabyte of data on-prem and then versus the cloud, many times in the cloud, you have 10, 20 times more exposure. So now think what happened, like, you know, the Uber attack, like just a, a simple MFA attack, you compromise the user how much data they, how much data they can access. The other big issue is the cloud is uh, the data path. You have API and third-party applications, so many ways to get into this, into this system. So this is, a, this is a big issue, and the only way to solve it is this tremendous automation. Well, the, I mean, the other factor is um, it's, it's rare that an organization <laughs> has data on just one with one cloud provider. The, the, these or, uh, implementations are typically multi-cloud, right? Exactly. And it's not only a, a multi-cloud, it's multi-SaaS. You have many, you know, you have sure. a Salesforce.com and a GitHub and 365, a Workday instance of uh, of Box. You know, you are using Zoom. There are just so many SaaS applications and, uh, and, and, and you have more of them and they are interconnected and this is just a massive problem. The other thing to remember is that the on-prem data is going relentlessly and also not going anywhere. And you can see it evidently from all the ransomware attacks. So just data protection problem, if you extrapolate, understand how the data is going, this is relentless growth on many platforms that geared uh, towards collaboration. It's a massive problem. 
Speaking of software as a service, um, Veronis' new SaaS platform is gaining traction despite a, a confused economy. Uh, talk a bit about what's driving adoption there. You know what we have done, and it required a lot of discipline. We started small five years ago. We have this self-hosted, uh, very, very strong data protection platform. But we look at it and we said how we can take the bottlenecks for our customers to make sure that everything will be automated. The North Star was 10% of the effort, order of magnitude of the value, how everything will be automated and how we can expand the coverage to make sure that we are covering every place that you have critical data. And intensely we're focused on it. The beginning, as I said, we started small. In the last three years, we put 90% of the engineering resources and it just worked extremely well. It's working as advertised. We are extremely excited with, with, with what is going on. And this, the, you know, the, the excitement is primarily from these automated outcomes that our customers get. You know, Terry, when you see a, a large organization and you install it and it automatically identify all the critical data, and then we can understand any posture problem in Active Directory and all these uh, SaaS applications alert on, and stop any abnormal behavior, and then our robots are coming and doing this automated remediation. You know, we cut 10 times, we, we, we measure 10 times and just cut once. And you see that, you know, millions of millions of files that are open to so many users, are, are, you are now into 5% and you don't break any business process and the CISO can come to the board and, and, and show them this was the risk. Now it's that. And in terms of the clarity of the alerts, if we say that there is something wrong, it's wrong. And you're finding these APTs and ransomware and rogue employees. And unfortunately, you know, in a hard economy, the organization need to sometimes to let employees let's go. So at times, most employees are great, but at times you have, you know, a small minority that are doing wrong things with information. We see that our customers can get massive value with almost doing nothing. At times, it's very little effort. At times, it's no effort at all. And it's it's really working. It was a multi-year effort, and it's working extremely well. We are very excited about it. All right. Um, Veronis was also recently named a leader in Forrester's wave for data security platforms. Uh, apparently, data security is finally getting the uh, the the attention and the status that it has deserved. Um, what do you make of that? Why do you think that's happening now? It's actually where we started the conversations. Attack can come from anywhere and any device, but always going in one direction, and it's the data. If you had a breach and no one touched data, nothing happened. If the data is in the wrong hands, you have what we call the lasting lasting damage. Without a very sophisticated data security platform, you can solve the problem. And I believe that we are the gold standard for it. And uh, we are, uh, regardless of the uh, uh, macroeconomics, we are in a, a in a economy and a digital universe. And in order for organization to survive and survive in this environment, you need to protect your data and you need to protect it through automation and coverage. And the only way to do it is to have a very sophisticated data security platform that is constantly innovating and up to date with all this data repository complexity and information growth that you see in the world. Well, some great insights on both data security and SaaS security. Yaki, thanks for joining us on this Dark Reading Fast Chat today. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. We've been talking with Yaki Feidelson of Veronis. This has been Terry Sweeney for the Dark Reading Fast Chat. Thanks for joining us with the segment. We'll see you next time.